Hi, right, today I want to show you some really fantastic um, exercises I managed to uh, get off the web to help um, strengthen your superior oblique muscle in your eye, if it's weak that is. Um, now I've got another video on my channel here um, about the superior oblique and what it does and basically if you imagine that's your eye uh, that's the best thing I can get to anything ball-like or round at the minute. Um, but you've got several little muscles in, in your eye. But the superior oblique is the big muscle. It sort of wraps itself around in a sort of S shape and it allows the eye to rotate in uh, different directions. And it also allows the eye um, to move downwards. Now... I actually have a bit of a problem looking downwards and in this direction with one of my eyes, um, which causes a bit of a problem for me. Um, so anyway, I found these great exercises and I'm going to share them with you. Now the first exercise, um, you imagine a pendulum, a very big pendulum, swinging just back and for and back and for is swinging very slowly this thing and the bigger you can make the swing the better actually because it means the more muscles you're actually exercising um, in that eye and it's it's a good way of getting both the eyes working together even though one of your eyes isn't quite balanced, that, that actually doesn't matter with this exercise. It um, exercises all the muscles that it needs to. So you just imagine it going back and forth very, very slowly. And you can also have it swinging up and down. and down. And the second exercise then is same pendulum except it's swinging from side to side. So, and the trick is you should be able to do this without moving your head because it if you move your head, you're not moving your muscles. So keep your head as still as you can while you're doing all these exercises. So to one side, to the other side. And the bigger the room you can stand in while you're doing it, um, the bigger, you know, if you can stand outside, that is really, really great because you can just swing back and forth to the, to the horizon and that is really really good. Um, there are other similar exercises um, I'm thinking of pencil push-ups which I'm not even going to do here um, I was given that exercise and it was completely wrong for me um, and there's also the Brock string which that is a good exercise and the round the clock um, exercise as well which some of you will have heard of. Uh, the thing about those exercises is it involves the eyes moving in a straight line. With the pendulum you're moving in a curve so you get a much more fluid movement and it means you're exercising a few more muscles and you, you're getting the full movement of the eye a bit more and it's more natural. Um, okay, the third exercise is you imagine drawing a huge figure of eight on the floor. Now I go around in both directions um, just to make it, you know, just to get both uh, sides of it and so Again, keep your head completely still 
and draw that figure of eight on the floor. And if you can do this standing on a rugby field or something where you're just drawing a completely huge figure of eight, that is you know, really, really good for you. So we go around that way and then let's go around the other way, keeping your head still all the time. Okay, like that. Okay, so those are the three exercises that um, I got off the uh, net. I'd never, never seen them before, and I think they are really, really good. So I'm sharing them with you. And something else that I saw was um, a, a video about. Um, a lady who had difficulty looking downwards and her eyes were sort of like that so one was elevated and one was a bit depressed and uh, my, mine are like that and I can't look down very well on on this side so it makes stuff like going downstairs really quite difficult um, so I've just been practicing moving the eye down that way, because anyone who's got a strabismus um, or a tendency for an eye to move out, the, the tendency is to try and pull it back that way because it feels like it's flopped down to the side, but actually it hasn't. So the thing you're trying to do, you actually need to try and do the opposite to get that muscle working again properly. And um, I have found that these exercises really really work for me um, you can do them while you're sitting on the bus well probably you wouldn't want to do them while you're sitting on the bus because uh, that might make you feel sick but you can do them anytime um, and the other thing I do because this eye is the weaker one is I wear an eye patch for about 20 minutes uh, about three times a day um, I just wear it and I also do the exercises with the eye patch on just to give this eye a little bit more of a boost and what I'm finding is that I am seriously starting to be as blind as a bat without my glasses <laughs> so uh, this is proof that it actually does does work so I hope that helps.